Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and Loving My Angels, bringing you another Law of Attraction lesson. Today, I want to speak to you about forgiveness, forgiving, and letting go. Have you ever had a situation where um, somebody hurt you or did something to you or there was a situation in your life and you just was hurt? You were angry and you were hurt. I mean, it can happen in all different type of situations, relationships, relationships from um, fellow co-workers, or someone just broke your trust. Um, or you just didn't get what you thought you were going to be getting and you thought you deserved it. Or it doesn't matter what type of hurt it is, but you're holding on to it. You find yourself can't sleep it can't sleep at night tossing and turning getting up in the middle of the night going to get a drink of water uh, watching TV late at night crying um, just going about your whole day worrying about what has happened let me tell you now if you are trying to create the life that you want you are burning so much energy just thinking about what has happened. We all been there. I've been there. Let me give you a little story. Okay. Um, I got plenty of them to tell you, but let me just give you this story. One time it was a while back. I say about 10 years ago, maybe a little more. I had a friend and this friend was in desperate need of help. I mean, a lot of help. Um, it was the point where he thought his whole world was crashing in on him. So he needed some money and I lent it to him. Mind you, this is my buddy, you know. So I lent him the money. And I knew he couldn't, he, well, no, let me get this straight. He was supposed to give me back the money because um, a friend of his was coming into town and was going to lend him the money. But he needed the money right away. So the deal was I gave it to him and the friend was supposed to come and give him the money so he can give it back to me. Something happened. I don't know what happened. Um, he didn't get the money from the friend. Left me cold turkey with the money. Okay. I stuck by his side, whatever it was. And um, then when it came to the point, eventually, that he could pay me back, he didn't. Okay. And what put more insult to anything he had the nerve to get a new car and come by and grandstand. <laughs> and when he came by the grandstand, he seen that I had probably more than him or just as much. And I guess felt like he didn't have to pay me. Now, when I said this was some money, it was a lot of money. And, um, and what happened was I looked at him like, not only did I help you, but you then have the opportunity to pay me back. And now you're driving around like you're a big shot, knowing that you owed me. And when you were down and out, I was the only one there that helped you. Where was all your friends at that time when you needed help? You know, it bothered me. I laid in bed, not all the time, but so often it came back and I rolled over and I thought about it and I said, oh my God, I can't believe he took my money. I can't believe as a friend, he didn't even pay me back, you know? Then I had to let it go. I had to let it go. Um, God is my supplier, no matter what. Whatever you do and give out, the universe gives back to you tenfold. It doesn't matter what it is. Somehow you're going to get it back. Health, success, career, a new townhouse, you know, a, new, a range, a Volvo. It doesn't matter. Somehow you're going to get it back. My gift was a peace of mind. It was a peace of mind. You know, you hold on to those things. You roll and you toss and you do all these things. You say, what a sucker am I? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? 
you're, you are actually poisoning your own body. You got to remember, you are what you think. And if you surround yourself with negative thoughts, remembering things that happened, being unforgiving, being unforgiving to yourself, not only to the person that did you wrong, but being unforgiving to yourself for allowing yourself to get in that situation. I tell you, to me to you, let it go. Has it ever been that time that you did something in your life and you just say, how in the world did I do that? Let it go. For every negative thought, no matter if it's towards someone else or to yourself, you are poisoning your body. And when somebody do you wrong or you get in a situation that is totally wrong, it tends to poison your body. Now, you start to worry or get angry before you know you have ulcers. Before you know it, you break out in a rash or you get sick or you come down with bronchitis like every winter or you, you, you'll be so surprised how fear, anger, worry tears down your body, okay? If you want to know how um, negative thoughts and holding on to things affect your body, Louise Hayes has a great book on how to heal your body, okay? And um, look it up and buy it. I have it, and um, I should have had it with me for this this tape, but I do have it. And it, it points out how all the things that could be going on in your life could be affecting your body and how a lot of ailments that people experience can be tied into something that they're holding on to. Okay. Well, what I'm trying to say is by holding on to things of the past and negative um, emotions, you are actually wearing down your body. I mean, you have to let it go. There is nothing in this world that should be actually causing you grief to the point that you can't let it go. The worst scenario, I would say, would be a death in the family, which you know you have to go through the grieving process because that's something we all have to go through and it is difficult getting over with. But when it comes down to materialistic things, um, situations, relationships, and stuff like that, you got to let it go. You know, I'm not trying to say, let people do things to you and you let them just get away with it or, or, or whatever they, whatever someone do, do to you is okay. I'm not saying that they're wrong. They're wrong. The thing is, is that God is the supplier of all your abundance. And God is the vindicator for all that happens to you. I don't know what's happening now in his life, but I know I'm okay. And that's the main thing. I know that I'm okay. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is wipe it off. Don't repeat it. Because you don't want to go through it again. But I'm saying, let it go. Let it go for yourself. All the energy you're, you're burning up and you're using in your body towards that negative emotion or that situation is taking from you the energy that you need to create the life that you're trying to create. You staying up, rolling in the bed, worried about what's going on is stopping you from getting that rest so that you can get out and do what you need to do. Read that book. Take that class. It doesn't matter what it is. You are actually stopping yourself, burning your energy up from doing the things that you need to do. Believe me, it happened to me. But I'm telling you, let it go. Use that energy to build a life that you want to create. So when that person see you or anyone sees you, they know that you did your thing. That's the main thing. You did your thing. You didn't let anything that someone did to you stop you from being 
who you were trying to be. Okay? Listen, God is your supplier. He will supply everything that you need. Let it go. Let the situation go. Don't let, don't give someone the power not only to do something to you, but also to, de to destroy you by you holding on to that situation. As long as you're holding on to something in the past, you cannot move forward. Now, again, I'm not condoning what anyone is doing out there that could be negative, but I'm just saying for us as deliberate creators, we have to take control of our lives and let anything go that do not um, complement what we're trying to do now. We're trying to create the lives that we want to create now. So anything in the past is in the past. And believe me, God will handle that. You know, I'm not wishing bad luck on anyone, but God will handle whatever there is that needs to be handled. Okay? Look, look. Just by succeeding in life, you're getting your just due. For that money that was that I gave and was taken from me, I'll get tenfold back. The same thing happened to my mom. She lent some money out one time. And I said, Mom, you get the money back tenfold. I helped her. She it, Basically, her house was paid off. But I did help her finish paying her house off. The money that I spent to help her pay her house off was tenfold what was owed to her. Okay? So... She's sitting there right now without a mortgage and she's living. But at the same time, that person still owes her money. Same thing with me. My day is coming. If it hasn't already come. How I got this house. How I get my cars. How, how I went from the bottom to the top in my career. I mean, every day something happens. Every day my life gets better and better and better. So... That could be my just do, but I think God has something even better planned for me. I'm telling you the same thing too. Don't let anyone dull your spark. Don't let anyone kill your joy. Don't let anyone take away your livelihood, um, your, your, your health by dwelling on anything that has been done. Let it go and move on and let's continue to create the lives that we're supposed to have, okay? This was very important to me. It's, it's just, I wanted to let people know the art of forgiveness, letting go, is so important. And just be grateful for all the things that God has blessed you with so far. Again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and Loving My Angels, bringing you another Law of Attraction lesson. The art of forgiveness, letting go. Don't let anyone dull your spark. Namaste.